Humility is a quality that's really important for women in my country, Algeria, where I was brought up. And uh, when women uh, speak uh, their mind, they are more often seen as arrogant than uh, brave women. It's something that's deeply ingrained in our culture, not to talk about your problems. So uh, when I was younger, I listened, uh, I went through the whole uh, system of the patriarchal system. I was married at a very early age with someone I never met, and uh, I ended up living in Canada. I had two kids. It was an abusive uh, marriage, uh, violent, but uh, if I was in Algeria, I would have had to stay in that marriage because uh, uh, the status of a divorced woman in those countries, abused woman who's married is better than the status of uh, a divorced woman. So I decided to leave, I decided to change my life. Uh, it took uh, a lot, it took a lot of fight with my family. I was the first woman in my family to, to divorce. And then I decided to make my life uh, uh, different from what I've known from my mom, from my grandma, uh, from the women of my village. So maybe uh, before I start talking about my work, uh, we could see uh, a little clip of my film. The women here always ask the same questions. Are you married? Do you have children? Or rather, how many boys? Women exist only in relation to their husbands and the number of boys they give them. Despite the friendly discussion I had with these elderly women, I don't mention that I'm divorced. I don't want to upset them. Or perhaps I'm still worried about what people will think of me. Well, I went back to my village 18 years after I left, and I decided to talk and tell the world about uh, the suffering that we don't talk about in those cultures. And uh, those women, unfortunately, these two women uh, died. They made the film nine years ago. But uh, being a, a film crew with women, we had women who told us stories that are really, really sad. And uh, the film, I made it in Canada for uh, the National Film Board and CBC. And when it came out in the community, the Algerian community, it was seen as a bombshell. Somebody who dares to talk about her life, who tells about something that's uh, very taboo. I talk about virginity. I talk about what it is to, to give up your dreams because you men have to decide for your life. But in the same time, um, it's a film that uh, started a debate. It initiated a certain opening to talk about things that are taboo. And uh, I'm happy to say that now, even uh, just nine years after I made the film, uh, this film is viewed differently. Even people who hated that film uh, tell me now, thank you, you just started something we needed to start. Because we cannot start uh, trying to resolve our problems if we don't identify them and if we don't start looking at them uh, honestly and not live in denial. But making this film, when I was showing it everywhere, I had lots of people who were touched by these women and they were asking me, how can we help to change things? And uh, when you make films and you present them, you learn so much from people's questions. You start questioning yourself, so what can we do to change things? And I think talking today about women empowerment is really the key. I, I don't see NGOs uh, going from the US or other countries, going to my village and try to talk to people in my village and tell men and women about uh, uh, equality of gender or, uh, or uh, domestic violence. The change should come from, yes, from education, from uh, financial independence for women, but mainly from uh, women empowerment. Getting women to believe in themselves. In these cultures, women are brought up to 
not to believe in themselves. Uh, men are superior. Even if women are educated, I know women who are doctors, engineers, but deep inside they don't believe in themselves. And I think it's one of the biggest problem we have in a very patriarchal system. J just to give you an idea about my fight, which was really not easy, is that, uh, well, I was a divorced woman. <coughs> I have two kids. Uh, one of my kids has um, health issues, so I couldn't have a full-time job, and uh, I had to stay home, and he was hospitalized a lot. And then I tried to find a way to make money, make films, pursue my dreams, and be with my kid. So I started renovating houses, so I would just buy a, a house that's falling apart and try to fix it and sell it, and I did that all the time. My kids were very young. So I did it for like 10 years, maybe eight houses in 10 years, which is crazy work. There's another thing that I really didn't want to fall into in Canada is, is that it's a great country. We have freedom as women and everything, but you know, the countries of consum consumerism, you kind of lose your dreams by just having a nine to five job and being in debt and always having to buy stuff. And I decided to have a very simple life so that I will be able to, to, to have big dreams. So it's as simple as that. I studied to be a journalist. I worked for TV and radio for a long time. And then I decided that uh, I kept in a foot at the, the CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, just uh, because uh, journalism is my passion. But uh, I was building, redoing houses just to put food on the table because you don't, you don't uh, live as a part-time journalist. But making this documentary made me realize the power of documentaries, especially for our developing world. I mean, now documentaries have so much impact. People from the, from the South living in the North, we know our culture very well, but in the same time, we have the best of the other culture. So I think we're the best people to build bridges and try to initiate change back in our native country. Like this film, I think it disturbed a lot because it's not just the film of a feminist. It's the film of someone who loves that culture, but who questions it. And I think the key to change things is not just to reject, is to try to initiate a debate, to initiate dialogue. Because when you kill the dialogue, then you don't initiate uh, uh, change. And in the same time, I don't want to be kept in that women, Muslim, immigrant, who's going to be put in a box. I hate to be put in a box, so I always had to fight against these stamps. Uh, so my last film was about the U.S. It's Islamophobia in the U.S. Not 10 years after 9-11. Uh, it's another film that was a bombshell, but more in the Francophone Quebec, because there's a big problem of Islamophobia there. So I decided not to be closed, because I, they tried to confine me when I was young in my culture. So I try not to be confined in any culture, but in the same time, I try to do the kind of work that's going to initiate uh, change and uh, empowering and especially critical thinking. Thank you.